Uh, the chair recognizes Representative Lesko. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Would Representative Montenegro yield to a question? Mr. Montenegro, will you yield? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I will yield. Ms. Lesko, he yields. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Montenegro, um, so I have a better understanding of this bill. Can you please explain to me the benefits of this bill? Mr. Montenegro. Thank you, Representative Lesko. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Members, I stand before you in awe. I, it is unbelievable to me the amount of twist that I hear today and the fallacies from some of the opposition that I hear today. I, I am hearing that there is no discrimination right now. I am hearing that there is no discrimination and that this measure is not necessary. But at the same time, I hear that things aren't okay. I hear that things are not going well, that there is so much discrimination in our society today. And that is what this measure faces. It is about fairness and equality. That is exactly why we are putting this resolution up and sending it to the people of Arizona to vote. This is about fairness and equality and equal treatment. We, the United States of America was established, and especially the... The state of Arizona was established by the principle of merit. It was established by the principle of you are able to achieve as much as you want or work hard for. How can we move beyond race if we are allowing our government to discriminate? Representative Clovis said that this... Um, uh, HCR says that everything is okay. No, absolutely not. This re resolution states the opposite, that things are not okay, that there is discrimination by our government. It is unconscionable to me that we stand here today and we allow our government to be the one that discriminates on the basis of race, on the basis of sex, on the basis of color, skin color, of the basis of ethnicity, or even your national origin. We are allowing government to divide. We are allowing government to make distinctions. We are allowing government to choose the winners and the losers on the basis of these things, your race, your color, your ethnicity, your national origin, or your sex. And what this measure does is it stops that in three areas. The people have the opportunity to tell government you cannot discriminate in the areas of employment, public employment, you can't discriminate in the areas of public education, and you cannot discriminate in the areas of public contracting with regards or on the basis of somebody's skin color, race, or the things that I've mentioned. Again, I am appalled personally by the thought that the government tells me that I am not good enough to compete I am appalled that we are allowing the government to tell me that I am not good enough, that they have to create a subclass because I can't achieve as much as others. I cannot compete at the same level as others because I am a minority. And we are allowing them to do that. This measure is simply, it simply mirrors the 1964 Civil Rights Act that we have heard about so much here today. I do not understand how we can speak of the 1964 Civil Rights Act and then advocate for segregation and discrimination on behalf of government and special treatment on behalf of government in the areas of employment, in the areas of of public education in the areas of contracting. But we oppose this measure. But there are those that oppose this measure who is trying to specifically stop government from discriminating in those three areas. I am, I stand in awe. And so today, Mrs. Lesko, the... There's been a point of order raised by Mr. Chad Campbell. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Is Mr. Montenegro answering the question, or is he making his closing statement? Mr. Campbell, he is answering 
a, a question. Is that a ruling? Can I that's, ask for a ruling on that? That's the ruling. Okay. He, it was a it was a very open ended question. He's he's answering it. And and you know, frankly, I'd probably do the same thing. So, Mr. Montenegro, you may continue. I do not understand how there are those here saying that we need to stop the discrimination, but they are advocating for government to discriminate on the basis of race, color, skin color, ethnicity, national origin, or your gender. And so today I support this with all of my heart because we are, what this does is it sends it to the people and it tells the people of Arizona, do you want to be treated special with special treatment or do you want to be treated differently? Do you want a differentiation made to, on you? You want to be racially profiled? You want to check a little box that says I am from this origin or that origin simply because I am a different skin color, ethnicity? No, it's time to stop government from discriminating. It's time to move forward. Did I answer your question, Mrs. Lesko, Mr. Chair? M M Ms. Ms. Lesko, do you have it further questions for Mr. Montenegro? No, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Montenegro, for your answer.